Hey guys, Katie here, and um, so right now it's actually like one o'clock in the morning. So I just I got really bored and wanted to do something. Um, I actually also just took a melatonin, so I might I might fall asleep after recording this, but I'm gonna upload this tomorrow, so it's gonna be not. 1am by the time you guys end up watching this and the guys are watching us at night so yeah so right now I'm just I'm really tired kind of not really but so yeah I just thought this would be kind of fun to show you guys some of the shelves I have that I filled with some of my junk so let me grab the trusty flashlight over here the, and it's illuminating all the light and I'm first gonna, so there's, or those LPS are, I have Triton, right back there, then I have this random mule, and then I have KV, and then beyond them I have some Minecraft stuff, well Minecraft bunny, uh, so down all that Nayu gave to me, and some scotch tape, along some papers, and some other stuff, and some LPS stuff. Also I'm missing one of my LPS that, it was in my old room. Um, it was my border collie she she's missing. But so yeah, I actually ended up going through a lot of my sketch stuff and finding some of my OCs. I don't know what to name him. If you guys want, you guys can take him. There are some things I do not want anyone to take because they're actually based off of people I know, but some of them are just there. Like that one. That one's just there. But some of the other ones aren't. Um, I have another one that's just there, but I can't find it. So yeah, and then, of course, there's my bed. And then there are some of my FNAF customs. Oh man, I'll put this in my mouth so I can show you guys. Um, there we go. Just put it in there. So as you guys can tell, I have both these little Funko sets. Thank you to Misty. Um, but first, there, there's Foxy. Both Foxy. And Puppet, apparently. Puppet, she could get out of the shot. So there they both are. There's like a smaller and a bigger one. And then I also have two more like that, although it's Chica. And then if you guys are wondering, I also have I also have the Funko, Foxy, and Chica up there. So I have three versions of them. Small versions that are LPS and regular Chica with, Car with Carl. But I only have one marionette, very sadly. But I forgot to put the little rosy cheeks on it, so I'll probably do that sometime in the future, unless I forget to again. So yeah, and then I also have two golden. I not, I have two Freddies and two golden Freddies. One Ennard skeleton, one Bonnie, one Spring Trap, and one Balloon Boy. I wish I could have made more, but I didn't have any more OPS that I wanted to use. And then over here I have some stuff my sisters gave to me and all that. Then I have some of my Beanie Babies. I do collect Beanie Babies and Animal Alleys and Webkins and all that. And then over there we have my porcelain doll along with some more Funko Ponies. Cause yes, Blue Moon is a bro is a Pegasus. I'm not a brony, I'm not a boy. I'm a Pegasista. And then I have this little popsicle stick thingy I have over there that has two ship names. Well, one ship name. But you guys can't see it from here. And then another announcement I actually have to make. Let me grab it with you guys. Sorry, my missing floor. You guys can probably barely see it, but it's kind of messy. Another little surprise I have is from Sage, actually. Um, 
Sage is actually pretty nice and decided to give me a 1990 something Furby. This one's a baby Furby. I haven't been able to get him to activate. I put fresh new batteries in him and he's not working worth crap. Like I've, I've tried the evil thing. It's not working. I've tried flipping him upside down. I've tried restarting him. I haven't tried contact contacting the company yet. Or anything like that. I don't know how I think it's on the tag, but if it is, please tell me. I I, I screwed up. I screwed up somewhere. Because I found this one YouTuber. She's like, oh yeah, you hold the tongue down and you also push the little button hole thing that says restart at the bottom. So yeah, that's Furby. I'm going to eat your soul. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. And then I also have some of my LPS houses that I store up there. Um, I actually do not have all my LPS here. I leave a lot of them with my mom. And I keep my favorite ones here. So, I also keep my customs here, so. Yeah, and then, um, if you guys are wanting to see where my other ones are, they're actually right over here. Sorry, it's not, it's not in focus, but still. But as you guys can see, my mascot's right there. And then I, again, I have some more blind bag MLP. I have some blind bag MLP, I should say. But I have some more, but then I also got those up there. There's Scarlet and some other ones. The bear actually up there is actually kind of special to me since I've had her because of some friends of mine that actually ended up being jerks, but I keep her to remember that they were actually nice to me once. Because they were actually kind of cool. I liked them. I kind of wish we didn't stop being friends, but we did. And then over there we have some of my Zuzu pets. The ones that are actually working in order, and then we have some over on my desk that aren't working. One of them I broke, so I'm trying to fix his wheels, so... Yeah, those are his wheel parts that I'm trying to fix. Um, I'm still working on the comic. It's going to be taking a bit longer since I have lots of stuff I get to do before I can start working on it. Again. But so, I've gotten ideas for the comic. So, it went out because I put it under the blanket like that. So I've been really creeped out by right there because I have this one poster that I actually always put right up on that wall right there and I've been getting creeped out because it's been falling back there I don't know how I don't know what it had like a little undertale reference so I don't know what's going on so yeah, but it's been kind of freaking me out, so I just left it down there. It's still down at the bottom. You guys can't see it, I don't know. But it's down there. Right there. It had like a little Undertale reference and all that, but... I'm not wanting to grab it if it's doing anything to this down here in this. Because I am now on the ground floor of my house. So yeah, that's pretty fun. Um, but actually I also do have some gen some generation three MLP. Um but I do not want to pull those out in there because they're up in the top of the closet. And it's just too far. <laughs> it's a clear across the room. Right there. So I don't, I don't want to grab it. It's in that Arizona box. I don't want to grab them. So screw that. Alright. Alright. 
But so I actually do have some other stuff in this room that I've been dying to show. Well, not really dying, but not dying. But I've been wanting to show you guys. And it's actually my artwork up there. And yes, one of those, that one has a picture of me and one of my friends, Hoodie Girl 9786. That was us, I think, last year at school. It was during Spirit Week, so it sucked. But it was still pretty fun. We got to see some of our favorite teachers for class, and I'm just sitting here rambling. You guys are probably bored to your mind, bored to death. So I'm sorry if, if that's true. But as you guys can tell, I actually do have a Bendy and the Ink Machine picture up there. Bendy and Boris. I know Boris isn't as tall as Bendy. He's taller. I just I didn't want to draw him shorter because I wanted to draw something like Buddy Buddy. So. I usually draw Bendy and Boris kind of the same height, just depending on how I feel. But so, yeah. The melatonin still hasn't taken effect on me. I don't know. I'm probably just weird. But so, yeah, a lot has, a lot has changed. I'm still grabbing stuff up from Sage because she decided to be a jerk and prank me with my wolf statue I got from Misty. But not this guy. This guy's just been laying over there for a long time. He actually kind of reminds me of the character Tattletail just because he's a purple Furby and Tattletail kind of looks like a purple Furby. So yeah, he actually doesn't creep me out as much as he does my sister. I'm actually usually usually fine with him just sitting back there staring at me. I'm usually fine with it, along with Templeton right there. Templeton's just adorable. Um. But so, to be honest, this actually isn't the creepiest thing I've ever come upon. But, yeah, it's actually one of the cutest, to be honest. I mean, to me, Furbies are not as creepy as spiders. If I had a choice between being locked in, like, a Furby room for a Furbies from this time era, however this Furby was made, or not whatever, but whenever this Furby was made, I'd rather choose that time era than choose to live with spiders, because that would, that would suck to me, because I, I'm just terrified of them, I'm sorry, because I found a couple really big live ones in here while I was cleaning. Like there was like one wherever the dollhouse is, because that used to be that used to be a bookshelf right there, and it freaked me out. And then there was also one over there where the dresser and that board over there used to be, and that freaked me out as well because it was also pretty darn huge. And there was a small one up there near where those books are. Which yes, now you I did show some of Liam's present. Or some of Alex's present. Some of Liam's. I'll just say Liam's. Um, but so I did show some of his. Um, I'll be dropping it off probably next time I see you. Like I'll be dropping some of it off and I'll just be dropping it off like I did with some other stuff. But so yeah, this is also just like a information video for Nayu, so. It gets really cold down here at night. But, yeah, guys, I actually, I still do sleep with this down on my bed. It's not weird. It's just something I have a habit of doing. 
I don't care. It's, it helps me sleep at night, so. That's all that really matters, right? I mean, even my friends understand. Like, my mom understands it. My aunt understands it. They understand that usually whenever at night I usually need something to cuddle with, so. I chose to have the animals to cuddle with. I mean, guaranteed, yes, yeah, sometimes I could do without one, but. Yeah. I just get pretty freaked out whenever I usually don't have a, like, I once locked him and plenty of other stones that I used to have in plastic bags in my old room. I locked them up in the closet. And I ended up waking around like 3 a.m. having a bad nightmare about two dolls that my family owned down here. They were Raggedy Ann and Andy doll. Like both different dolls, but they scared me when I was a kid. So that's why I got in the habit of sleeping with. So, and then I've also in the habit of with Clifford. Um, guaranteed yes, I can sleep with other ones like the ones. I like prefer stuffed animals because, like stuffed, stuffed animals, because then, like stuff is stuff and that, stuff like that, but stuffed animals because then, yeah, because I don't know if I got rid of this, but I used to have a urinary tract infection. I don't know if I still have it because I still have, like, I still not have, like, symptoms from time to time. But it's practically where you pee hot, pee, and all that. It's pretty gross. But so sometimes you end up peeing the bed, and it's not fun. And I don't know if I still have it because I'm not going to lie. I do still sometimes pee the bed. I don't care what you guys think. was pretty creepy. Like, nothing will go missing or start moving or just always get the feeling someone's in here, so I'd always, like, I'd keep this flashlight in here with me just in case, like, I see something that isn't really there or something like that. But yeah, it gets pretty lonely in here. I'm used to sharing a room with someone. So yeah. Because this room has been transferred to three different things, like twice into a bedroom for two different people and once in a playroom for five girls. Or, yeah, five girls. I think it was probably four, but still some some girls. It was like five or four. It was a long time ago. Back when my family used to own a V-Smile, and it used to be hooked up up there, actually. Right where those stuffed animals are. Like, right where my stuffed animal hard dog is. There used to be a TV, and we used to play the V-Smile, and it was a lot of fun. I also used to have like a Barbie doll house and I still have one of the doors to that. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. I think that should actually pretty much wrap it up for this video. If I find anything weird in here or something like that, I'll probably record some more. But, until then, peace out guys.